I brought in my Commodore 64 computer. I've got all the manuals, the computer, printer. In uh, 1982, I got one of these things, and I actually wrote a spreadsheet on it. And then when I want to print out a report, I'd press a button and wait for like 15 minutes. And then it would print. <laughs> I bought the computer in the early 80s and used it for a few years, updated it, and now it's been sitting in my garage. I'd like to sell it just to clean things out and uh, maybe get a few bucks to go out to dinner. This is absolutely amazing. For the time, it was really, really innovative. They figured out a way to package a computer, you know, keyboard, everything in this little box, and didn't need a monitor because you could plug it straight into your TV. God, it doesn't seem like that long ago. <laughs> so, does it work? It works. You want to plug it in? Yeah, let me plug it in. Jose, can you grab me the, uh, one of the old computer monitors? Yes, sir. So, did you use it much? Kind of like you, I bought it early, found out that I could get something better a few years later, and it's been boxed up sitting in my garage ever since. Okay. When was the last time you turned this thing on? Uh, probably a couple oh, of years. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. The 64K RAM system, 38,911 basic bytes free. So, just by turning it on, you took up almost half the memory. <laughs> See? Rick. <laughs> You've got to be interested, right? I'm interested in it. Um, so, how much you want for this thing? I think 250 would be fair. <sighs> Can I give you 100 bucks? I guess I could go down to... Uh, 175. 125. How about we split the difference and go 150? You got a deal. Good. Um, I'll meet you right up front. We'll do some paperwork. Great. I can almost guarantee you there's another nerd out there just like me that's going to love this thing.